are especially lucky to be living in Michigan. Our state has five huge lakes. Remember them by spelling holes. H. Chad, O. Ontario, M. Michigan, E. Erie, and S. Superior. Also, where else in the U.S. can you hold up one hand and, and show people right where you live? See, here's for Huron. Our state is so great. Why? Listen.
Sandy. I see lots of future campers or visitors to our parks out there. Maybe we should show them what some of our parks are like. We could tell them why we should take care of our natural areas. They could learn some Michigan history and learn special things about some of our parks. Let's tell them about some of the things they could see.
play with our ants. Do you know they really work hard and lift very heavy things? Actually, they are fun to watch sometimes. Sure, as long as they don't get on your food or your sleeping bag. Well, should we start from a long, long time ago? It seems to me ants have always been here. We love Michigan too! <laughs>
very first people who lived here were Native Americans, and imagine the great scenery they had living at the Plumonot Falls hundreds of years ago. The Plumonot Falls is in the Upper Peninsula and has nearly 40,000 acres of unspoiled wilderness with two waterfalls. The Native Americans lived in harmony with the land by taking care of it well. They told legends about things. How Michigan's Great Lakes were formed. Long ago, before the engines were here, Michigan was a flat, normal piece of land. The UP and the LP were still connected by land. The land forms were the same with the mountains and hills, but we didn't have the lakes yet. One day, a cloud met one of the other clouds because it was gray. The gray cloud was so embarrassed that it cried until it had no more tears left. Since then, we have our five great lakes that separate the LP and the UP. The little gray cloud cried like Huron, like Ontario, like Michigan, like Erie, and like Superior. We can thank the little gray cloud for our beautiful great lakes that he cried. How the state tree grew. One day, a blue jay was eating blackberries. The blue jay was so messy eating the berries that it got all over her wings. That week, the blue jay flew over what came to be Michigan. The seeds on her wings fell to the bare, moist soil. But instead of growing blackberries, it grew our state tree, the white pine. Thanks to Michigan, our little bird friend. Uh, shoot. Thanks to our little bird friend, Michigan has white pines. <laughs>
if we keep on going south a bit and come to St. Ignis, we can see Mackinac Island and visit the Straits Park. Look, here comes Buck again. This is one of the most historic places in Michigan. French fur traders came up here to get beaver pelts for European hats. Nicolet passed in the Straits of Mackinac in 1634. He was probably the first European through this area. Other Frenchmen like LaSalle and Cadillac came to this land also. Jesuit priests like Father Jacques Marquette built a mission at St. Ignis. It became the first settlement of the new land of Michigan. Fort Mission on Mackinac is still there to tour. It is the site of the longest ongoing archaeological digs in America. How about fudge? I love fudge. Let's go to Mackinac Island. Good idea. Let's go. We can see the fort on Mackinac Island and bicycle around. No cars are allowed there, you know. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Near Kappa Harbor in the Kiwanan Peninsula, there is a fort there too. No battles ever actually took place there. Today we can tour it and see what the military life was like in the mid 1800s. Also, there is a Kappa Harbor lighthouse built in 1848. We can even go hiking or cross country skiing in the, the Kiwanan Peninsula, the snow capital of Michigan. State Park to learn about the development of industry or industry, and we can see 90 foot high limestone cliffs along the Mars shoreline. We can even go scuba diving. some of the famous white pine I stay tree. Do you think Paul Bunyan was once there? Oh yes, he is a famous lumberjack. Maybe we can see a lumberjack camp. Let's go to Hard Rock Pines and see Paul and his lumberjacks in action. I'm 
don't you ever listen? Yes. Try to pay attention. Oh no, I think I think Bear is huge. Ah! Ah! So maybe we should tell him some jokes. That's a bad idea. Why? Because that will make him mad. Oh, stop it, Nancy. If we can't tell him jokes, let's run away. Okay. okay. Let me fight him. Let's go already! Okay. Okay. Look, Colossus are frozen. I'm going to scare him away. Go, Axel! Look what's going on, dude. I just got here. Do you want to help us move logs, Ax? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Act three, back at camp. I can't wait to work. I'm really tired. It's about time we got tired. You're always going too fast. My muscles are maybe they're worn out. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I mean goodbye. Peace, dude, I'm tired. Uh, well, this is quite a group. Good night, Blocks. We're so glad you're here. Whoa. Tune in for more adventures next year.
one, wasn't it? Combat Iron and Lumber brought thousands of immigrants to Michigan for jobs. Sometimes it's great to get away and enjoy nature. If you go to Bay City Recreation near Bay City, we can say a huge wetland reserve called the Tobiko March. Tobiko means little lake by the big one, Lake Huron. We can go up one of the 60 feet observation towers and see marsh animals like huge snapping turtles, loons, bobcats, coyotes, and many more. We can hike through about 5 million acres. Lake Park. 
He has to beat the Zero Wonderful. There's even a park if you just want to go for a day and picnic. We could go hiking, swimming, or biking. Super, let's go. Yeah, we can cook hot dogs and s'mores. Actually, all of the fourth graders here at Michigan get to visit there for a day. Wow, we can hardly wait. What a trip. Our state has so much to offer all over the state, upper and lower peninsula. And with the DNR to help us, we'll have lots of fun. Then he said 